Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Roman Papaduke, and I'm the executive director of the George Bush Presidential Library Foundation. On behalf of President and Mrs. Bush, welcome to, to tonight's William Waldo Cameron Forum featuring former First Lady Laura Bush. Mrs. Bush is a best-selling author, authoress, and she is also the founding ambassador of Heart, The Heart Truth, a program geared toward um, examining women's health issues, particularly in the area of heart disease. Her comments will focus on this topic, which is very dear to her uh, at this time in her activities. So we are very delighted that she is able to join us on this very special occasion. Before we begin our program, I have a few uh, brief announcements to make. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Flo Creighton for her continued support of the Library Center and particularly of her support of the Cameron Forum, which honors the memory of her father. And I'm glad to see she was able to join us here. Thank you, Flo. We do have a special guest with us, the Ambassador of Qatar, His Excellency <clears throat> Ali bin Fahad al Hadri, Mr. Ambassador. <laughs> welcome. Um, we are live streaming our program tonight, so a special welcome to the people that are watching us on the web. In addition, uh, we have an overflow crowd, as you could well imagine. So we have a number of our guests sitting in the adjoining auditorium watching the proceedings on closed circuit TV. I ask that those guests remain seated uh, at the end of the program because we have, well, Mrs. Bush will be able to come by and personally greet all of you. Um, another issue is that just a few minutes ago, uh, Mrs. Bush, along with President Mrs. Bush, uh, cut the ribbon to open formally the red dress exhibit. The red dress exhibit, as you know, is a, uh, the red dress is a symbol of heart awareness and health awareness for women. The red dresses that are on display in the museum are those of famous women personalities. So I urge all of you to go visit that exhibit at some time during the next few months. But in particular, tonight, the exhibit is open after hours, and I urge all of you to go see it tonight because admission is free tonight. <laughs> So good opportunity. Those of you who would like to go directly to view the exhibit, I ask you that when you leave the auditorium to use the lobby exit to the left. Now, I mentioned earlier that uh, Mrs. Bush has a best-selling book, uh, and she will be signing the book this evening. And those of you who would like to get a signed copy uh, of the book can do so by when you exit the auditorium bearing to the right in the lobby, in the Lionel form there for those who want to get an autographed copy of her book. Now, uh, Mrs. Bush will speak for approximately 20 minutes or so, after which she'll be happy to take some questions from the audience. At this time, I'd like to call upon another former First Lady, a very special First Lady to all of us here. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a very warm welcome for Barbara Bush. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Papaduke, and uh, Mr. President, Mr. Ambassador, and ladies and gentlemen. You know, I'm asked constantly, who is your favorite first lady? Well, the answer, of course, is very simple. I say Laura Bush because she's the first lady that I love the most. People often ask me who was the best first lady. Again, there's just no question. The answer is Laura Bush. When Laura was the first lady of Texas, she started the Texas Book Festival. 16 years later, it's still going strong. Now, during her eight years as first lady of the United States, she worked with the Library of Congress to celebrate the book with her National Book Festival. At the last year, it started about 70,000. The last year, over 100,000 people came to the National Book Festival. Laura also took reading around the world. She took it to Russia. She took American artists who were printed in Russian. And she got Mrs. Uh, Putin to have a book festival in Russia. She went to Africa with the books. She's the most extraordinary first lady. She worked 
to eradicate malaria and AIDS in Africa, and she championed the cause of women overseas. And who will ever forget the picture of Laura, surrounded by Saudi Arabian women wearing the traditional hijab. And she continues to take on the whole world. No first lady did more good or set a better example than Laura Bush. But of course, to the Bushes, Laura's greatest attribute is her love of family, her support of that wonderful, wild, precious son of ours, <laughs> and her devotion to those unbelievable daughters. She took her whole family in for eight wonderful Christmases at Camp David. Laura, you know, is an only child with two first cousins. Now, we have a loud, totally different family than hers. There are 32 of us immediate family, and George Bush must have 85 first cousins. <laughs> that gentle lady charmed us all. Laura Bush is the best and my favorite first lady, and I'm honored to introduce her. Laura Bush. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, dear Danny. Thank you so much. Thank you all very much. Well, of course, you all all know who my favorite first lady is, and the one I learned the most from, uh, who I watched uh, while she lived in the White House. And then I was able to have a huge advantage when I moved in because I knew just what to do about the Christmas card, about all the holidays, about all the things I learned from Barb. But what I learned, uh, the most important lesson I learned from her as First Lady is how natural she was, which made everyone in America love her so much. So thank you very much, Barb. <laughs> President Bush, Ambassador, I'm thrilled to be here tonight. I want to thank you all very, very much for the very warm welcome. I want to talk to you all about women's heart health uh, because of the red dress show that's just opening here at the Bush Library. But before I got started, I thought you might want to report on some of my family members. I know you all know and you see President George H.W. Bush all the time. And I know he's a favorite of everyone here at Texas A&M. <laughs> and of course, you all are all his favorites, too. But you might not know that he, this summer in Maine, he celebrated his 86th birthday. And last summer, when he reached that milestone of 85 years, he celebrated his birthday by jumping out of an airplane again. <clears throat> Last summer, for his 85th birthday, we were all in Maine, and it happens that the largest space to jump into in Kennebunkport is a churchyard. My mother-in-law, Barbara Bush, joked that that was convenient. If anything went wrong, we could just wheel him straight on into the church for the service. And as you all can see from just seeing Barbara Bush and hearing her introduction, she's in great shape. Uh, she's her very funny and feisty self. And George and I had a lot of fun uh, visiting both President Bush and Barbara Bush at the very end of the summer in Maine. And we were both very happy to see how well they're both doing. George and I are happy that our girls are doing well. Jenna and Henry Hager are happily married. She's teaching reading, and she recently began working as a contributing correspondent for NBC's Today Show. George says she's just continuing the Bush family tradition of warm relations with the media. <laughs> <laughs> 